Hi, this is Jeff McCrindle of the Down Beach team at Caldwell Banker. I just wanted to uh, give you an update on some of the analytics that I've been playing with. Uh, normally, I would post on a monthly basis, a monthly market analytics report, but uh, I took some time today to look at how many houses up for sale, currently available for sale, have reduced their prices, which means uh, our sellers uh, concerned that their price is too high and perhaps want to lower it down to something that's more palatable for buyers. That doesn't mean the prices are going down low uh, or being significantly reduced, but there is seems to be a pullback in prices and price inflation uh, at the Jersey Shore. And so let me just tell you what I've done in terms of collecting the data. I looked in the multiple listing service for uh, towns from Brigantine down through Ocean City and looked at both single family and condos. Uh, and these are for houses that are currently for sale. So for example, in Brigantine, there's 71 single family homes for sale. Of those 71 homes, 30% of these homes actually have had a reduction in price since they've been on the market. The average reduction in price is 7%. And just looking at those, of those 30% of the 71 homes, of those homes that reduced, reduced our price, they were on the market for 73 days, so which isn't a long period of time. So I was looking at, were homes reducing their price because they were on the market a long time? It doesn't seem to be that. It seems to be that the sellers may see that uh, perhaps the uh, expected, expected inflation in prices uh, was a little too aggressive and they're pulling back just a little bit, around 7% correction in price, uh, at least in Brigantine. Uh, looking at, I was wondering whether, well, what's a percentage of houses that reduce price in a typical year? And doing some research, the national average of homes that reduce their asking price is 12.9%. Well, that's in a typical year, and we know that the past year has not been a typical year. So um, I guess uh, just looking at this and trying to understand, well, what is this really saying? Is this, is this a correction in the market? Uh, I think it's more of a slight pullback in the aggressive increases we've seen on a month-to-month -month basis for new homes as they hit the market. I don't believe it means this correction is coming. I believe it's more of a plateau where buyers and sellers are now agreeing on prices that are still much higher than 2020, uh, but a little not as high as uh, what the ex initial expectation for some of the sellers. I, I think it still remains a seller's market. Uh, significant increases in asking prices have su subsided for a while. And if you're, if you're looking to sell your home, it may be the time to get your house on the market while the market's still very strong and the inventory is low. Uh, for buyers, it may be an opportunity to get a house at a, a price that is not as uh, as extremely high priced as they have been in the past few months. Uh, so this is the analysis that we do on a regular basis. Uh, you'll see monthly analytics reports out on our website, uh, www.cvdownbeach.com. But I wanna get, get this out mid-month because I thought it was in interesting and important to note that there has, there has been a, a real tangible correction in prices recently, uh, but the, the supply is still low. So I think it's still a seller's market but uh, information gives you uh, the power to make uh, educated decisions. So I just wanted to get this information out. Uh, any questions, feel free to reach out to us at 609-800-2425. Uh, email, or as I said, visit our website, uh, cbdownbeach.com. Have a great day.